Hi, Julie. This is lesson 12.8. The first slide is your homework from 12.7. Our numeracy for today is what percent of the sections are yellow? So you have to figure out the total number and how many of those out of the total are yellow. Today we will use the strategy draw a diagram to solve problems involving data. Page 693, unlock the problem. There are 32 students in the history club. They are researching family history so they can draw family trees. The data set at the right shows the number of aunts and uncles each student has. What's the most common number of aunts and uncles among the students in the club? Use the graphic organizer to help you solve the problem. So while we read the problem, we need to think, what do I need to find? The most common number of aunts and uncles. And that represents the mode. What information do I need to use? So you need to use the number of aunts and uncles for each student from the table. How will I use the information? I can draw a diagram that shows the frequency of each value in the data set. A good way to show frequency of a data set is to make a dot plot. Now we're going to solve the problem. Make a dot plot of the data. So as you're crossing off your numbers and putting a dot over on the dot plot, you will see in the end that the mode is the data with the most dots and that is four. So the most common number of aunts and uncles is four. Page 694, another problem. The table shows the attendance for the Pittsburgh Pirates last 25 home games of the 2009 baseball series season. What percentage of those games were attended by at least 25,000 people? So I need to find, first of all, the percent of all the games that had at least 25,000 or more people. Then you're going to use the data information in the attendance table. First, think of the intervals you want for the data, then find the frequency for each interval. And then make a histogram. So attendance and frequency. Set up your intervals. and then count the frequency that occurs in each interval. And then it says attendance at the Pittsburgh Pirate Games. You're gonna do for the y-axis two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 10, 12. And that will be your frequency. On the x-axis, you'll do your intervals, which is the 10 to 14. 15 to 19, 20 to 24, 25 to 29, 30 to 34, 35 to 39, and that will be labeled attendance, and your unit is thousands. Then you use the information you gathered from the attendance grid and make your histogram. As you can see, There are three intervals 
that had 25,000 or more participants. So you need to circle those, add those together. Then you have three plus one plus one equals five. And that goes over the total number of games. So five out of 25, which is 20%. Page 695. The table shows the number of goals scored by the Florida Panthers National Hockey League team in the last 20 games of the 2009 season. What's the most common number of goals the team scored? So again, you're going to use the information, make a dot plot. And when you're done making your dot plot, you can use that information to help you answer the problem. Page 611, quick check. Draw a histogram of the hockey data. Use it to find the percent of games in which the Panthers scored more than three goals. And the summary? The data shows the total points scored by the middle school basketball team in at least 14 games. What's the most common number of points scored in a game? Explain how to find the answer using a dot plot. So again, you're going to take the values from your data table, place them on the dot plot, make sure you're crossing them off as you go so you don't use them twice. And as you make your dot plot, you can see that the value 39 appears twice, so it's the most common number of points scored. And today's homework, page 69. Seven, two through four.